Welcome to WAC All Access. Coming to you from the United States Air Force Academy, we're at the Cadet Soccer Field, the site of the 2019 WAC Men's Soccer Tournament. I'm Eric Danner, along with Pete Fewing, the head coach of Seattle U. Coach, you had the bye in the first round, uh, so you don't play until Friday. Uh, tell me how the team's feeling and looking right now. Uh, good. We're healthy. We're deep, which is great. We're going to go play putt-putt golf right now, so uh, <laughs> we're competitive. Uh, and the guys are very excited to play. It's nice to get the bye. Uh, we've been here for a few days, so we've been acclimated as well, which is great. The guys have noticed that the breathing is better and better each day with the high altitude, so I don't think that's going to be a factor. Um, we're excited. Everybody in this conference is good. Honestly, any day, any team can beat any team. So um, we are not looking past anybody. I know we had a good record in the regular season, but uh, our game with Bakersfield on Friday at three is going to be—it's uh, going to be a good game. They're good. They—they they look very good against San Jose. Yeah, you had a chance to check out the games on Wednesday night. To Bakersfield knocking out San Jose 1-0 on a late goal, and, and they also had some tremendous uh, play by their goalkeeper. Yeah, they did. He was fantastic. Saved a penalty kick. Uh, he's good in the air. He's very athletic, a little bit like our goalkeeper, uh, Akili Kasim. He's very athletic and, and can come out quickly, blocked a couple one-on-ones. Uh, so he's confident, and we're going to have to really do well to, to beat him. And they're going to have to be in the corners or low or high and really hard shots. But he was excellent. And the goal that they scored against San Jose, and San Jose is a very, very good team. They had a good late run uh, through the conference at the end. The goal they scored was excellent. Ball to the back post, headed back across, and a good finish. So they're coming in confident, um, and uh, and I get it. You know, we play situations where uh, we are the underdog. We got a 10-0-1 record. Uh, Richie Grant does a great job, and, and so there's not as much pressure on them as there is us. And so, so it's going to be. They might be a little more loose, and we got to take care of business. The other matchup we saw, or the other two matchups, we saw Air Force beat Houston Baptist three to two, the highest scoring game yeah. of the night, and also Utah Valley. Uh, advancing 3-0 over Kansas City, and they're going to be in the other semifinal. Yeah, both those teams, uh, Air Force and uh, UVU, are also confident. And they're hardworking teams. Uh, both of them are comfortable at elevation. So, um, again, you can't, Eric, you can't look past anybody. Uh, it's, but that's, it's, a, it's a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. It should not be easy, uh, and, and everybody wants to go. So uh, we got our work cut out for us. Tuesday night, uh, you came in, went to the awards banquet, and, and we got quite a bit of uh, hardware going to be bringing back home to Seattle. You got the regular season championship trophy, you got coach of the year, defensive player of the year, freshman of the year. That's good. Those are all team awards, right? We understand that. You, um, for Nicosi, who transferred to us from UConn, I, he said some things uh, before the banquet, not in not knowing that he was going to get that award, and he was kind of grateful that he had the opportunity to come and play here and thanked his teammates. Uh, we were all talking about why we're here and what we want out of the deal, and so he knows it's a team award. Uh, James Morris has been fantastic. He broke his hand early in the year, so missed the first eight or nine games, and then He's got eight goals in 10 games. He's been great. And again, he would tell you the same thing. The, the front four or five around him have served some great balls. And the coaching, uh, that's a coaching staff. And, and, the, and the players, we, we are on this side of the line. They're on that side of the line. They do, they do the job on that side. We just, you know, grind our teeth and scream a lot. So it's a, those are all team awards, and the guys all know. Well, it's been a great fall for soccer in Seattle. You uh, have another hat that you wear as an analyst yeah. for the Seattle Sounders, and you were there on Sunday to see them win the MLS Cup. It's fantastic. Uh, 69,274 in the stands, everybody in green except for about 2,000 Toronto fans in red. And uh, it was a beautiful uh, day. For, and when I say that, that, it was a little bit, it was a little uh, noon kickoff. And so sun came out after Seattle got their third goal, which was sort of fitting, but the crowd was fantastic, Eric. It was really great. And, you know, we have, you're in the press box, we have our spots, and we went to a booth so that we could be in the open air a little bit. Uh, we were all crammed in there. And, and Brian Schmetzer, the head coach, it, it's a phenomenal story. He's a local guy, uh, drafted by the Sounders out of Nathan Hale High School, which is just a little north of Seattle. And coached the USL team. I tell this, Eli's a good friend. We were teammates. And, you know, at one point he was coaching the USL Sounders, flipping houses, you know, doing construction, uh, coaching. Uh, Emerald City and being the coaching director all at the same time and and so for him now to have two MLS Cup uh, championships and playing in the third final uh, a couple years ago so fun thing is he and his lovely wife Christine Patty and I all had dinner the night of the final last year he had no idea the final was going on and there was a TV in the bar <laughs> and uh, and we were all sitting there and he had no idea and the end of the night I have a ring from the team and at the end of the night I pulled somebody on the picture and so I pulled the ring out and he was like 
why do you have that? And I said, well, because tonight's the night of the MLS Cup final, you idiot. <laughs> and, and, and he said, he said, I had no idea. He had no idea. You know, when you lose, you're done. Move on. So uh, I'm super happy for them. And, and they set a great example for all of us. Honestly, they we have one of our former players, Alex Roldan, on the team, and really happy for him. And and uh, but they gave our team a great example of what hard work and sticking together uh, can and pay off. For them, so. Yeah, we also saw Tucker Bone, who was here yeah. yesterday. He was uh, drafted by the Sounders yeah. in the first round last year as well. So there's a good connection between them and the WAC. Uh, Coach, also Seattle U's women's team on Sunday, winning the WAC championship. They'll be at Washington on Saturday. Yeah. The NCAAs. Well, and it's terrific because this season, uh, Leslie Gallimore, it's her last season. It's a tight community. We all get along really well. So uh, Leslie and Julie are good friends. Saturday night uh, will be quite an interesting battle. And it'll be sort of a, on the on the soccer side, on the women's side, it'll be a little bit of a great gathering. I'm sure there'll be a great crowd when Washington played Wazoo last week. The Huskies uh, soccer stadium was full and I'm sure it will be full on Saturday night and you know the NCAA tournament you never know who's going to win those games so um, I hope the Red Hawks I was a Husky I played at Washington so um, uh, but I'm, I'm hoping I, I think Julie's team's in a good spot they they come in um, probably in everyone's mind except their own as an underdog and that's a good place to be well coach uh, we'll look forward to uh, watching you guys tomorrow 3 p.m. Mountain Time on ESPN Plus. It'll be Seattle U versus CSU Bakersfield. That's Pete Fewing. I'm Eric Danner, and this has been Whack All Access.